Next up for me, the best rack available, which is the Supreme Shark Rack, which is also known as the Invisible Rack. This actually sits flat to the table. I'm going to slide this camera forward so you can get a better look at this, hopefully. There we are, that'll do is Zoom in a tiny bit. Now, I've had one of these before. The first time I got one of these, I struggled to use it. And the reason being, I was racking it up in the wrong order. If you've got your own table and you're using these a lot, I find having a straight line through the black spot to the bottom and a line across where the bottom of your rack goes, it just makes it so much easier setting up. So you see I've got the point there on the line and then the line goes in the centre at the top which you'll see a lot of these in competitions and stuff they'll have that same line I'm going to set these up in any order just for speed but the way I place them on is the better order to set them up if you're using one of these racks so you start off with the top two then you build them basically in rows each time and then obviously when you've finished Put the last one on. The advantage of these racks, with all the racks that I've demonstrated, on a new table they're all absolutely mint. On an older table you'll find there's little divots in the table, especially where the black is on the head spot, and you'll find the ball keeps rolling as soon as you lift the triangle or the corner balls will start rolling away. If it's got speed cloth on you tend to get even more movement when they're worn on the table. The advantage of these, even on a worn table, because the tiny little dots, the balls sit in them. Every one of these balls is touching. So when you break off, you're getting the perfect break every time. The only downside with one of these, for some people, is a downside for me. It's the only thing I use now. Um, when you break off, imagine the balls have gone round the table. You might have one that's still on there. Your options there, you can get a ball marker, mark where the yellow is, remove it and then take the template off or wait till the balls have moved off the table. If you carry on playing and you've left the rack on the table, what you'll find, if you're playing, it, playing a shot quickly and it goes over that, it doesn't deviate at all. If you're playing a ball slowly and it hits it, it can wobble offline. See like that. And you can run out of position because of it so you need to get this off the table as soon as possible but from a break point of view there's nothing better than that rack